Good morning, guys. And um, this morning, I just wanted to talk about lust because I was reading Proverbs and I was I read the first proverb and I heard God tell me to go to seven. So I kept reading and lust was a big thing that came up on here. And I wanted to share with you guys what I've learned about lust and how to how to fight it. Rather not fight it, but flee from it. So Proverbs four verses eight. Or I guess you could even go a couple verses prior to that, really. But we'll start from verse 6. This is talking about an adulterous woman. She gives no thought of the way of her life. Her paths are crooked, but she knows not. Now that my sons listen to me, do not turn aside from what I say. Keep to a path far from her. Do not go near the door of her house. And that is so true. Do not go near the door of her house. I've seen a really good parable on this not too long ago that was like less is like a like a ball that gets rolling it stems up from temptation and it gets to the top where you have a decision whether or not you're going to fall into the temptation or go back to god and what he has to say and if you let that ball roll it's, you can't stop it even though if you if you put your hands right there while that ball is rolling you're just going to be overtook with it because you didn't give it to god it says do not go near the door of her house how can you ever get a ball rolling if you don't even if you don't even let it get up you know, if you don't let it get up to the peak of the roller coaster, how are you going to let it, you know, swoop down? So when you get that temptation to lust after a woman, to go on a site that you don't want to go on, don't do it. It's so, it's hard to say that, but get up and go do something else. Even if you just feel like that temptation that's burning to get done, get up. Just get up and stretch your legs and go do something else. Read your Bible. If if you're not feeling the Bible, praise the Lord. If you're not feeling that, go outside. But anything to not to not fight the temptation, but just run from it. Because we're not strong enough to fight it. But we are fast enough to run from it because the Lord gives us that speed. You know? So, another thing I caught was... In Proverbs um, 6, verses 25 through 29. Do not lust in your heart after her beauty, or let her eyes captive, or let her captivate you with her eyes. For the prostitute re uh, reduces you to a loaf of bread, and the adulteress preys upon your very life. Can a man scoop fire into his lap without his clothes being burned? Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? So if he sleeps with another man's wife... No one who touches her will go unpunished. In 27, the can a man scoop fire into his lap through 29 just stuck out to me like a sore thumb. Like, it's saying, can you, like, can you take this temptation, do it and be perfectly fine? Like, if you're a, a, a follower of Christ, you can't live like this anymore. We are going to fail, yes, but you have the decision right there to, to throw the temptation away and run as fast as you can. You can't scoop fire into your lap without being caught on fire, you know? You can't walk on hot coals without your feet being scorched. You can't expect to be perfectly fine when you do these things, you know? Because we as followers of Christ... Can't just pick up a sword and stab ourselves in the stomach and expect there to be no puncture wound. You know, like, no puncture wound. That was your decision. You know, you wanted to do it. And you know the outcome of it. Simple as that. It's a really hard thing to fight, but it's easier to run from. It is easier to run from. Because you can't fight it, but you just have to run. You just have to run. No matter how you feel, run as far as you can. So let's go through the verses one more time. Keep these on your heart. Proverbs 4 verse 8. Keep to a path far from her. Do not go near the door of her house. Proverbs 6, 27 through 20, um, 29. 
Can a man scoop fire into his lap without his clothes being burned? Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? So he who sleeps with another man's life, wife, not life, wife, no one who touches her will go unpunished. Look at those verses. You know, you guys are going to have different translations. So take a look at them and study them. But remember, you can't fight it, but you can run from it. Thank you. Jesus loves you guys.